What are you doing? Waiting for you to be done. Hey besties, it's Sarah, and today I'm bringing to you something a little bit different. I think I've only ever done one book shopping vlog on my channel ever, and it was like in 2015, and I think the video was like two minutes long. It just wasn't giving what I think I would like to give now in 2022. If you watched my last vlog, you'd know that I am about to move, like literally within like a week as we speak. But right, I'm a little bit of a poet, and I didn't even know it. In my new house, I would really like to have a whole wall of books. Something that I feel like I've been missing for a long time is an area to film videos and to store my books. At my current house, I just didn't really prioritize that because I don't really own a ton of books. I probably own like 30 or 40 books. And so I just kind of like let them hang out in random places. I have like one tiny shelf that's like hung on the wall and you couldn't really like see it in videos. And so in this house, I really wanted to prioritize sort of like a filming space, a home library. But the issue is, I don't really own enough books to fill that. Like I've just never really been the book buying type. Like that's just not been my journey. Like typically I only buy a book if it is a favorite or a book that I think I'll reread or that I really want to display on my shelf because of the cover or whatever. And so I just really wanna increase my book collection. And so I made a list of books that I would be interested in buying. And me and my boyfriend are actually going to head out in Atlanta and go to three different bookstores. And so I will take you along on that journey. We're also gonna stop for lunch before we get into that and yeah my boyfriend is going to be a really kind person and be my like cameraman and so hopefully we can get some good footage for that and so I just wanted to kind of show you a couple of local bookstores in the I guess it's not really Atlanta but it's Marietta to be honest um, but you know the greater Atlanta area just show you what's out there I think the two that are local are used bookstores and then we're also going to go to half price books which I guess is also a used bookstore but there are some new books there as well so Let's just get into it. Not a book. Are you upset? I thought it was just like the book version. <laughs> We just left Half Price Books. I will say the selection at the Marietta Half Price Books was not what I expected. I was looking for a lot of really basic authors. Like I really wanted Beach Read by Emily Henry and like people we meet on vacation. I also wanted um, The House Most Really. They had one TJ Klune book, but they didn't have um, the one that I was looking for. They had uh, that other newer one that I didn't like. Um, what was it called? He doesn't know. So now we're at Book Miser, which is another used bookstore. I don't actually think I'm gonna find a lot at Book Miser. I've been here before and it's like really used books, like a lot of like mass market paperbacks and stuff, but I still thought it would be a cute little book shop to go into and like show it off to you guys. Uh, maybe I'll be surprised and I'll find some of what I'm looking for. Um, I have like this master list of everything I'm looking for. Like I really want to finish the Wayward Children series. Like I have the first three books and I want the rest. And then I also want more Veronica Speedwell books because I only have the first three. And that's like, one of my favorite series. And um, I could just keep listing off books, but unless I find copies of them, it would be useless. Anyway, we're gonna go inside now.
Club Bookmiser and as I had suspected some of the books that I wanted to get like the Karen Slaughter books were a little bit too worn for my personal taste. They did have a lot more new releases than I remembered them having like I honestly hadn't been to that bookstore in like a few years um, but yeah they had a lot of good um, like new releases they just didn't have the ones that I was looking for. I feel like no bookstore has had Emily Henry which is very weird but I can always buy the books online. Now we're at Book Nook and I thought I had been to this bookstore but from the outside I don't know if I've ever been here before. I might have but it does not look familiar from the outside. So um, very curious to see what it's like inside. But yeah, let's, let's go on in and see what they got to offer. shopping trip. I don't know why I said I've never been inside Book Nook because when I finally got inside I did recognize it. I don't know what it was about the outside but she just wasn't ringing a bell but I totally have been there I think like two or three times. Again many years ago but I have been there before. So I wanted to share with you guys the books that I did end up getting. Unfortunately like I mentioned earlier I wasn't able to find a lot of the books that I was looking for only because a lot of them were like pretty like new releases and so um sorry I'm like adjusting my necklace. So anyway I might just have to buy those online and to be honest I'm kind of more of an online shopper anyway when it comes to everything like I don't really like to go into stores especially like when it comes to like clothes and decor and like different things like I think Target is the only store that I actually enjoy being inside but I will say that these bookshops had really like nice ambiance like I really liked Book Nook especially like I felt like the shelves just kind of reminded me of my childhood because when I was a kid my mom was really big on going to used bookstores and like selling our old books to get credit for new books and so I just it reminded me a lot of that. I will say that I feel like Book Nook would be perfect if you were trying to get like a lot of like Harlequin romance or like mass market paperback like if I am in the market for that down the line I totally will go back and look for that. I guess we'll start with the book that I got at Half Price Books and that is The Host by Stephanie Meyer. I know this is super random. You might think that this is a joke but honestly this is one of my favorite books. I really 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 like this book. I first read it when I was in high school and then I reread it as an adult and I still think it really hits. Like it's a good book. I don't know what Stephanie Meyer did between Twilight and this but this is way better in my opinion. The girls that get it get it and the girls that don't don't. If for some reason you never saw the movie adaptation with Saoirse Ronan or you've only ever heard of Twilight, I'll tell you what this is about. Basically, this is set in a near future where the world has been taken over by these aliens who take over everyone's bodies and so then people become the hosts and then they get erased and the alien kind of like takes over. I know I just said the word take over like four times. But our main character Melanie is a rebel and she's been on the run from these aliens for a long time and so at the beginning of this book she does get taken over by one named Wanda. Wanda actually inherits all of Melanie's memories and and Melanie is still there and they can still communicate and so Wanda ends up falling in love with the man that Melanie loves and so it's like this weird love triangle and so Wanda takes Melanie's body in search of the man that is in all of the memories and it's this whole thing because obviously the humans are against these aliens and it's really good I again I reread it as an adult like I think I read it in 2019 and I still really liked it I felt like it really held up I think the writing is really good it's really weird because Twilight kind of sucks but this is really good and I really wanted to have a copy and it was only eight dollars at uh, half price books which i thought was a really good price because if you look online on like amazon 
the paperback version of this is like $16. Like, I don't really know if this is still in print. So, I don't know. I like it. I mean, the cover is not that attractive, but the spine, it's fine. And the last thing that I got at Half Price Books is actually not for me. It's for my boyfriend, and that is volume one of Fables. This is a graphic novel that centers on fairy tale characters. There actually is a video game called The Wolf Among Us that he and I have played before. And whenever I say that me and my boyfriend have played something, I mean, he played it and I watched him play. That's like one of our hobbies. I don't really like any games that require like hard gameplay. So, I prefer to watch him play video games. I do play stuff on my Switch, but I typically stick with like casual gamers type of stuff. But to be honest, the gameplay in The Wolf Among Us is pretty easy. It's more of like story based where you make choices and you don't have to do a ton of like complicated stuff. But again, I just like when he plays. Um, but yeah, we played that earlier this year. He had played it once before a couple years ago and then he thought I would like it. And I really did. Um, the main character is this guy named Bigsby who is the big bad wolf. That's why they call him Bigsby, like get it, big bad wolf. And his boss is Snow White and there is a murder and they have to solve that. I don't know if the comic follows the same story, but I really liked that game. It was really interesting. And there's actually a sequel coming out soon, which is super exciting. Something that I'm discovering now that I'm like a gamer girl is that video game sequels take forever to come out. Like literally like five to 10 years. And it's kind of crazy. I actually totally forgot that I got a second book at Half Price Books and that is the Veronica Mars novel that uh, Rob Thomas wrote I think in like 2015. I knew that this had come out but I've never read it before. I think it takes place between the original show and the movie but before the Hulu series and I just decided to get it because it was two dollars at Half Price Books. It was on sale. It was in the clearance section and I just love Veronica Mars. Fun fact about me, it's one of my favorite shows of all time. I actually think one of my friends has read this and she said that it was all right and I just honestly I don't even know if I'll ever read it but I just thought it would be fun to be on my shelves because it says Veronica Mars and obviously I love Veronica Mars and I don't know. Obviously the cover is kind of ugly but again for two dollars, come on, come on. I think I already mentioned this, but I did not end up getting anything from Book Miser, but I did get one book from Book Nook, and you may have seen it already in the vlog, but it is this book by Fabio. <laughs> I just thought this was so funny. If you're not familiar, Fabio is a model that has posed for the cover of many, many, many mass market paperback romances. Mass market paperback romances, that's a tongue twister. But I had no idea he had a series of his own romance books, but this one's literally just called Mysterious, a novel by Fabio. Literally when I was checking out the guy at the like register was like I did not know Fabio wrote his own books And I was like it could be a ghostwriter, but I need to pick this up and find out I thought this might be fun to do a reading vlog and just kind of like document my experience because what if this ends up being a really good book and if it doesn't end up being a really good book Then we can always just like read the funny bits out loud and have fun in a vlog. Let me read the back to you Fabio hard body ice blue eyes vulnerable heart He's a romance hero come to life, and the secret thoughts behind his smile make him the hot mix of bad boy and angel that women can't resist. Now let him arouse your <laughs> your senses in a sizzling story of suspense as an heiress is drawn to a man with a dangerous secret. Isn't that so funny that he would just write a series of books where he's the main character? Like, look at him. Like, there's not even a woman on the cover of this. Like, he's like, it's about the heiress, but it's really about me. I just think it's funny that they gave you, like, a description of Fabio, and then now we're moving on to the plot of the book, but it says, Jory Maddock was driving through the rugged Adirondacks on a journey of self-discovery when she found herself trapped by a snowstorm. But soon, she was rescued by handsome Sawyer Howland, a stranger whose sexual attraction was immediate and irresistible. And even though her affair with Sawyer was leaving her dizzy with passion and very vulnerable, the return to the site of Jory's childhood summers soon awakened disturbing memories. Then, a local woman was murdered and Sawyer was a prime suspect. Now Jory must find out whether Sawyer is a man to make her run for her life or trust with her heart. I decided to pick this one up out of all the Fabio books because there was a murder in it. I just thought that would be like a fun little part of the book. So I don't know, I'm serious. We're gonna get into it. Let me know if you wanna see that vlog. But that brings us to the end of this bookstore vlog and mini haul. I am really excited for the books that I did get. This Fabio book is gonna be hilarious. And yeah, let me know down below what you thought of this vlog and if you've been to any of these bookstores, if you live in the Atlanta area. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching. You're all beautiful. Have a nice day. Thank you.